I don't like being the bearer of harsh news, but I'm not sure that this is good or bad news, although I think it'll end well. The sad part is that we humans like to take the terrible road in order to get to the happy ending. We, we just don't want happy stuff to happen happily. We got to fight every suggestion and, and learn the hard way so often. Well, I've been in Taiwan 12 years and I think that something uh, terrific and terrible is coming to Taiwan. Over the last four weeks, I've had several encounters that show that not, not that there isn't good things. There's lots of good things, lots of good things that have been growing in Taiwan, but I've had several things uh, come across my path that show that specifically the bad things in Taiwan have not gotten any better at all. Zero progress with many bad, unacceptable things. Um, my landlord, uh, said that they don't want to renew my lease contract and I've got all this trouble to go through of moving. Uh, specifically, they don't want foreigners. Um, that's, it's, 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 a, it's a complicated rent. I don't actually talk to my landlord. That's another strange thing. Um, I've, you know, I'm, that's open bigotry. And, and I thought that over the last 12 years, I'd seen that stuff go away. It's alive and well. I tell that to my Taiwanese friends, they're shocked and surprised. A lot of good young people, a lot of people my age, you know, are friendly, but the old bigotry is unchecked. It's still alive and well, and no one stopped it. Uh, I, I had, I've had several friends uh, talk to me about working illegal uh, English jobs in ESL schools illegally. I, last week, someone called me and offered me an illegal job in an ESL school. I said, I said, no, I said that that's, that's illegal. They said, well, yeah, but it's normal. I said, you're a democracy. You've got to change the law. You control what the law is. You decide what the government's supposed to be doing. And in, 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 if, if you don't ask them to change the law, then they're not going to change it. You don't just break the law. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I said, here's my Instagram. Follow me. We'll talk about this. Never followed me. So I, be a part of Taiwan's democracy. It's like they've got Stockholm syndrome where, where they've been, been beaten down to a point where they don't think that they can make a difference. So even though they vote in elections, they don't actually expect their government to make laws that make normal life legal. So it, it's a two part problem. You've got a government that doesn't care about the people in Taiwan at all. And you've got the people that don't want to rise up and make the government serve them. So as a result, it makes a lot of trouble for foreigners, a lot of trouble. And, um, I, I don't know, I've, I've had, I've had other crazy things happen. Um, th there's someone I know that, that might have a mental illness that, that this lady believes that she's had several prophecies that I'm supposed to marry her. I'm like, well, okay. But then I don't jump to marry her. And, uh, then she writes me this hate mail and then that's going to convince me to marry her. Right. And, and it, 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 it's on and off maybe every year or so she'd write me, but for several years she didn't write me. Well, she finally wrote me again. It was the same old, same old, worse than ever before. Not only is there zero progress, it's gotten worse. And, and when, when did she write me all of a sudden? Within the last few weeks, within the last four weeks, several of these things have come across my path showing not, not that there aren't good things. There's lots of good things, but specifically the bad things haven't improved at all. It's been zero progress and maybe it's gotten worse. Well, today, yet another one happened. Um, the Hong Kong Free Press, uh, it, it's a, I think it's a paper. It's, 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 it's kind of a, of a semi-recent startup. I think it's hkfp.com. They had an article about how Taiwan needs to start treating foreigners better. See, uh, with all that's happening in Hong Kong, Taiwan wanted to reach out and help. So they set up a special office in Hong Kong to try to help Hong Kongers get to Taiwan. Well, since most normal English teaching in Taiwan is illegal, and since most normal other things in Taiwan are all illegal, most ways for Hong Kongers to, to escape Hong Kong and get to Taiwan would be illegal. Did Taiwan bother to change that and be normal like other countries are normal and get rid of all these extra rules that other countries don't have? No, they just set up an office 
to send people through the same stack of red tape. So a bunch of these Hong Kongers went to that office and well, every single venue is illegal because normal life is illegal in Taiwan almost always. And so the people, the, 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 the Taiwan pe the people at that office in Hong Kong would tell the Hong Kongers, well, you should find a way to do it legally. Yeah, right. There is no such thing. Taiwan's government's made sure of that. So a lot of activists that were uh, facing trouble from police in Hong Kong never were able to get to Taiwan. Too much time went past and they, 200 of them were arrested as a result. Um, as a result of not being in Taiwan or something. Well, um, that didn't exactly show up as friendly. Taiwan didn't help anyone get to from, from Hong Kong to Taiwan. All Taiwan did was set up an office to give people a long-winded no. It's almost like adding insult to injury. And Taiwan actually thinks, that the Taiwan government actually believes that that was an act of generosity. Taiwan's been, been very cruel to a lot of people uh, from different countries and many different levels. The same countries that they are asking to help them in their, their trouble with China. The same countries that are much more friendly toward Taiwanese going into their countries. And so, Taiwan's, the, the, the burdens, the extra hoops to jump through, the regulations that foreigners in Taiwan have are, are, are much worse in Taiwan than those other countries. Yeah, Taiwan's going to countries saying, please help us, we're having trouble with China. Those countries welcome Taiwanese, Taiwanese can go, work, become citizens. But if people from those countries come into Taiwan, oh, oh Taiwan gives them all this red tape and, 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 and then smiles and thinks that that's friendly. And then those, a lot of those people actually go home and then, and then they, 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 they talk badly about Taiwan because that's what Taiwan did. There's not much good to tell for, for many of their stories. And I'm, 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 I'm watching this happen and I'm not seeing much progress. And as, as I see all of these, these things developing and I see all of this, uh, so many of these pieces of evidence, it's Hong Kong story. Now, all of a sudden, so much is showing up. I see that in my own life anyway, and then now in the rest of the world, God seems to be setting up evidence for what the situation is in Taiwan and how unfair Taiwan has been to their own people, to other people, and they have not treated foreigners very well. And I think God is about to do something big and don't think that China is the only thing that can happen to Taiwan. There's a whole lot of things that can happen to Taiwan. But whatever it is that happens, it doesn't mean that God is bad. It means that Taiwan won't be bad anymore. God is not the bad guy when he drags us kicking and screaming into the happy ending we said we wanted. Uh, if, if, um, if, if we got to go through trouble to get to the good place we wanted to get to, we're the ones uh, that, that, that should have our integrity and honesty and, and, and fairness in question. The question is not why would God let this happen to Taiwan? The question is why would Taiwan let all this happen to so many foreigners and not change their laws? Now, I have written Congress. I, I talked with uh, an aide on the phone uh, recently and they understand. I'm not getting pushback. I'm, I'm getting, oh yeah, Jesse, we understand probably more than any other issue I've ever called Congress about. I've told them Taiwan needs to give instant citizenship to all these foreigners that have been in Taiwan. I said, if they've worked one year and they've been in Taiwan five years for any reason, as long as they were there legally and didn't overstay in that five years, um, and, and, and they had a, a work visa for at least a year, boom, citizenship, no further questions. You, Taiwan's government needs to go find those foreigners. Um, I guess something similar for, for married people. Do you know if you get married to a Taiwanese, you still don't become a Taiwanese citizen? It's, it's very bigotous. It's very bigotous and people don't know this. I don't, I don't wish Taiwan ill will. I, I want Taiwan to stop doing ill toward the foreigners that they want help from. And they could do it instantly. I mean, I, they, they could call an emergency session in the legislature and then their cabinet, because the cabinet's actually the ones that pass the laws, which is weird. 
you know, there, there are certain times for debate, but they could suspend those rules because they're facing a crisis and it's a human rights situation. So, yes, I, I'm a victim of ESL human trafficking. It, they, they tried to pull that on me. And I put up the videos and talked about that well over a year ago. I did a series of other videos about what's been going on. I, you know, th this isn't something that I'm just suddenly saying all of a sudden, but nobody signed that petition I put on change.org. I, 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 a few people did, 20 some, I'm incredibly grateful, but the public just didn't care when, when we tried to tell the world about what was going on in Taiwan. Well, now all of a sudden, this, this seems to be surfacing and, and it's, it's just showing up randomly in my life and other people are now finally talking about what's been going on. I hope the best for Taiwan, but Taiwan has to hope the best for the rest of the world. And I'm, I'm really hopeful that, that, that Taiwan will give the citizenship that many people, including myself, already would have if they simply were a fair country and, 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 and set things right. If they don't do justice to the foreigner, um, then whatever happens won't be without advanced explanation. I'm in Taiwan. I'm not criticizing from the outside. I'm on the ground. I've been here. I've seen it. And so I'm allowed to say that I love them and want them to do better.